Hello again, this is SF Giants Fan Mike coming to you today with a, another Fate Grand Order video. Okay guys, uh, just a little bit of a channel update to start off with. I've run into a bit of a snag when it comes to uploading my videos. If you haven't noticed at the time of uploading this, um, I haven't uploaded in a while. That is because I'm having problems with my laptop. I haven't taken, haven't had the time to really take the time to figure out what's wrong with it. For some odd reason, it's just not connecting to the internet. Whether through ethernet cable or through um, Wi-Fi. Um, hopefully I'll have time to figure that out eventually. I won't be able to really move my videos to my computer, do what bit of editing I do to them and then upload right now because it doesn't connect to the internet. Um, I'm going to have to take my laptop to somewhere where I have internet. See, is it just not liking my router? Is it something else? Anyway, I think it's the DNS uh, thing that it's trying to log into. Um, but anyway, guys, that's just the... That's if you've noticed I haven't been uploading for a while, that's why. So I'm kind of going to more simple stuff, guys, because I'm going to be uploading through my phone. Um, so that means my thumbnails aren't going to be, I won't be able to jury rig uh, thumbnails like I do. Um, I got to figure out my GIMP a little better, but that's for down the line. Um, so I won't really have too specialized of uh, thumbnails or anything like that. I just want to get back to getting some stuff on to YouTube. What I might start doing if all else fails is uh, edit the stuff on my computer, transfer it to phone, and then upload from phone. Um, anyway, that's the plan. That's the little bit of uh, what's going on under Fate Grand Order. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Fate Grand Order. Where I'm at, I actually have a uh, few, I don't want to say questions for you guys, but if you guys have any advice for where I'm at, I kind of want to do a, I don't know if you guys, ugh, sorry guys, I'm talking over myself. Let me start again. I'm at that point in Fate Grand Order where I kind of don't know which path I should go on. I'm going to talk about that briefly, where I'm at what i'm thinking of doing if you guys have any advice or comments or whatever i mean feel free i am definitely not an expert at this game um basically so far i've just been as you can kind of see there getting some of my favorites together um i gotta do my best to start ascending some of these and leveling them up and all that other fun stuff but Anyway, the second thing I want to talk about is kind of where I'm at in my fandom of Fate. I kind of came across a cool video, um, and I just want to talk about that a little bit, because you know what, guys? I haven't had a chance to talk about Fate in a while. Um, I had all that cool stuff there uh, late May, early June. I didn't even think late June with uh, Last Encore. Really haven't had an excuse to go back and talk about it, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. All right, guys. As you can tell, this might be a little bit more of a rambling video, and I apologize immensely for that. Um, okay, guys. So here's where I'm at in Fate Grand Order. As you can tell, I have some pretty good units at this point. Um, but I'm at a kind of a weird point. I have good units, but to further ascend... Uh, this is not going to do that. No, it's not going to do what I want it to do. But to further ascend Lancer Artoria or uh, Archer Artoria, I got to get to Camelot because they have they require some of the materials that don't start spawning till then. Um, I don't know if I hear the um, Ascension materials have been updated in the training grounds, but I don't know if those actually got added or not. And if they have, it's very low rate. I think a lot of the stuff there is really low rate. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of at that same point with Artoria where I'm trying to level her skills, but I need a ton of uh, proof of heroes. So I'll look that up and figure out what I got to do there. Um, but I'm at a point right now, guys, where I'm not quite sure which is the best way to uh, improve my squad. 
do I go through the storyline and kind of ignore the next event, which is the uh, Prisma Ilya event? And if you guys have watched any of my videos on the Fate Verse, specifically on Prisma Ilya, you know I got squicked out about on that anime. Uh, I know there's a manga that's way le- supposed to be way less of the squicky stuff, but it's not English. Um, and right now I'm at the point where I'm not really able to put any... I've put aside money for the anniversaries that came around all at the same time. Um, that money is gone, so I don't. I really got to figure out how to set aside some money right now to uh, get a hold of further entertainment stuff like the Prisma Ilya manga stuff. Um, I don't want to look it up online until I own. Since it is available and I can purchase it physically, even if it's in Japanese. I'll feel better if I do that and then go read the translated stuff. Um, I'm weird like that. I I want to make sure Tight Moon or Notes or whatever the company's proper name is gets their money. They, they deserve it. They've made something that is so awesome. I try to do this stuff through official channels. Although I am getting to my breaking point on the Fate Stay in Height stuff. Um, the original visual novel or even Rialto Nua. It's like, come on, guys. That... I can't buy it from you guys. I can only get it off the secondhand market. Give me a way to give you money for it. Anyway, that aside. Um, like I said, I'm at a weird point in the game where I don't know where to go. Do I jump back into... Oh, okay, it was Prisma Ilya that caused that little bunny trail. I apologize, guys. Um, do I ignore the next event or two to get caught up on the story? I like the story. That's actually why I came back for this. I mean, having all these cool characters now um, that are fun to use and hard to raise because they just do not give this stuff out at a very good rate. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I... I understand that part. They want to make us work for it, and I'm okay with that. Um, it's not like Dokkan Battle where you can pull a card and you have it at max within seconds. Um, I've seen, I have seen um, Dumani do that to get a uh, SSR, be able to have everything uh, awake in him, uh, and within you know an hour or however much long it takes him to run the Dokkan event. All of a sudden, he's got it at, you know, 120 TUR, max hidden potential if he wants it to, or whatever. I don't think he actually maxes out the hidden potential until he can rainbow him or something like that. Um, But here, I mean, you might be able to grind for it beforehand, but I'm I'm guessing that's going to take getting me to a place where I have that first solid team, and I'm not there yet. I feel like I can kind of handle my own with the pretty much everything that has been put in front of me so far with the uh, av- although technically with the swim the summer event I did have some problems with some of the nodes in that second one that really 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 saddened me <laughs> um, I was having to farm the oil on a what do you call it not on the highest difficulty. Actually, I actually never beat that highest difficulty. Um, I can never quite get all three of my uh, command seals together. Sorry. I just want to make sure my screen doesn't shut off on me. Uh, in the middle of me talking. Um, I can never do it because I didn't quite have the right team. So I know I need to start getting my guys stronger. But is that, again, is that going to be through grinding out some Ascension materials? Um, I I'm thinking it's going to be better for me to go through the story. Um, maybe I need to get through and just ignore all the other stuff in the shops and just go straight for the Ascension materials. Um, I know in the summer event, I the first one I was able to grind out pretty good and I got a pretty good amount of Ascension materials. Of course, they went in a heartbeat. Especially those great night medals for, uh, oh, hey, there we go. For actually, for both those two. Obviously, I used them on Lancer Artoria, but Archer Artoria, I now need 10 more to ascend her again. I'm like, ah! Um, and the only way I know to easily get a hold of those is to get to Camelot. Um, but I know Camelot, 
I know as you get through the story, it gets a lot harder. So what do you guys think? Do you think I got a team where I could really do that? Or should I be... What do you guys think? Where am I at? Um, is my plan to go through the story? I know a lot of times they give you first rewards and you'll get... Uh, seems like you get set rewards. Like, you know, you beat a ca a caster boss and you'll get a caster monument or piece. Is that just a good way to go through it for my first team? Or I don't know. I'm just in that weird spot right now where... I don't know where to go. Maybe I need to... I also going through story will get me more. Excuse me, guys. I ate like an hour and a half ago, and I'm still occasionally burping up stuff. Ah. The uh, I was gonna say the other thing about stories I'll be able to get Saint Quartz, which will then let me to pull. Uh, honestly, personally, I'm probably gonna save till Ishtar, which I think is gonna be Decemberish. Um, cause she's a Ren face. I, I won't even lie. I don't even know anything about Ishtar. Um, supposedly she's like Aphrodite where she's a goddess of beauty or whatever. Um, so I think she'd be kind of cool. I, I'm, I want her cause she's a Ren face but to be able to have Ren and then good old Amia there and then good old. Artoria there, that'd be kind of cool to have them all three on a team. Um, <laughs> and then we could get then we could get Medea there and we have all the Masters of Saber. Well, I guess technically I'd have to get uh, Kirisugu and potentially uh, Idius feel. But I know that event passed and I don't have no idea when they come back. But anyway, guys, forgive forgive my side quest in digressing there. Um, so what do you guys think? Just let me know. Um, that's my, kind of my plan for Fate Grand Order, and hopefully it's going to work. I am taking advantage of these Ascension materials as I can. I'm also trying to get the XP. I'm trying to balance out getting some XP cards every day and getting some Ascension, doing the Ascension. Um, so it's good XP per energy or AP, they call it in this game. And it's uh, also, you know, Ascension materials. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know if I have a specific picture I want to talk on. Um... I guess I'll just talk on this one. Um, sorry, I just had a random person pass by my car. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, this is uh, the original visual novel versus I think that's a limited Blade Works on the bottom. Uh, you know, the picturization. But anyway, so I just kind of want to talk about where I'm at in my fate fandom. You know, the continued journey, so to speak. Um... What kind of is bringing this on is I came across a one of those YouTube videos that's, you know, 10 facts you didn't probably know about whatever. In this case, it was Ren Tosaka. You know, these were the type of videos about fate that I would kind of seek out early on. Eventually, I found lore videos from Tasaya 4 and Otaku Daikun that really kind of filled me in on stuff I wanted to know. Um, and it was awesome. But all of a sudden, I came to this, you know, 10 facts you probably didn't know about Ren Tosaka. I'm like, yeah, you're probably going to go 0 for 10. You know, I watched it, and it was kind of like I thought. Telling me interesting stuff that if I hadn't delved into the lore stuff and hadn't watched so much stuff on uh, the Fate series, I might not have known some of those. Um... He actually did a pretty good job overall. I don't remember who it was, to tell you the truth. 414 Anime or something like that? I forget who exactly it was. If you guys know, if you know 414 is a person, hey, let me know. Um, I totally have not run across that guy again uh, on my YouTube account. Um, I'm usually out of my subscriptions. So he probably was on my recommended page for a few days, and then when I didn't click on him again, he disappeared. Uh, anyway, but he did come up with a fact that was kind of cool. 
So first of all, it's kind of cool that now I've gotten to the point in my fandom of the Fate series where it's not, I wouldn't say it's as good as Dragon Ball, definitely not as good as Wheel of Time or Marvel, but I'm at that point where it takes a very specialized video where you're actually going to tell me something I didn't know. Um, I don't want to say I know everything or whatever. It's just one of those things where now I'm starting to fact gather and I've watched enough stuff where I've gotten the information. So it's kind of cool to realize that, hey, you know, it's six, seven months on now. I'm actually kind of getting it as much as you can get the Nosoverse, right? Um, but he did have a cool fact that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and honestly, this kind of kind of shows... I don't want to say it shows where I am, like it's this big, cool thing, but it kind of shows where I am, where the thing he got me on, the thing I didn't know, was stuff from interviews and whatnot about the origin of Rin Tusaka. Um, apparently, according to this guy... Rin initially wasn't going to be one of the protagonists of the series. She was going to be, half eh, whatever. I'll, I'll go to that one because we know what I got from there. <laughs> I loved it. Um, we know we know Rin as the, you know, master of Archer, the Sundere that ends up, you know, kind of falling hard for uh, Shiro. Well, initially, she was actually going to be a... I don't know that any of the Masters, you can really say, are villains outside of uh, Kire. Um, but she was going to be an antagonist to Shiro, where she was going to be a Master, and she was going to be Master of Lancer, a.k.a. Ku. And that was awesome. Um... I don't know if I've ever really mentioned it, but I've always thought, you know, Limited Blade Works was really, I guess Fate Zero to Limited Blade Works was my original introduction to the uh, Nasuverse. And I always thought that part in Limited Blade Works where Ku works with Rin and Shiro and uh, Ku's Ku and Rin's chemistry together was always pretty cool. I liked how they interacted um, and all that stuff. It was really cool. I was like, oh, wow, I wonder if there's anything beyond that or whatever. And I forget where it was. Was it? Was there something between Rin and Ku and Carnival Phantasm? I can't remember. I don't think there was. Anyway, I've, I've seen something where they kind of got to interact outside of Fate Stay Night. Um, but anyway, I always thought that would be kind of a cool team up to have Ren be, uh, Ku's master. And apparently that was the original design. So I'm guessing as Nasu wrote this, you know, on the, you know, was writing the unlimited blade works. He kind of put that in there on purpose just to kind of show that off the original concept, so to speak. Um, unlimited blade works is that kind of funny route where for a while there, neither Ren nor Shiro had a servant. <laughs> Um, I will say, after watching Otaku Daiku and do a playthrough of the Unlimited Blade Works, the original uh, visual novel, or however he does it, he's like Rialto Nua mixed with the original novel, etc., so on and so forth. I'm not sure exactly how to explain it. But uh, he goes through that scene in Unlimited Blade Works where Ren becomes uh, Saber's master, and you kind of... I really like it because it, in the anime, it seemed like, oh my gosh, you're finally unleashing it. And it didn't really do it justice. Ufotable finally, I won't say flopped on the scene, but Ufotable kind of didn't uh, hit as much on that scene as the original visual novel. Maybe that's, they still did an excellent job. I liked that scene, but the original visual novel, the Rialto Nua you know, moments, maybe it's just, I like Otaku Daikun's, uh, what do you call it? Commentating. Um, he's got a really good commentator's voice or however you want to put announcer voice. I mean, if that, I mean, if he could ever get into, uh, you know, reading audio, audio books, I'd probably buy him. Um, he's got, he just got a smooth voice. I like how he, 
you know, reads things off to us. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of a neat little fact, given everything that I'd seen, given everything I have uh, saw of the Ren and Ku interacting and whatnot, that that was the original design was for Ren to be um, Ku's master. Thought that was kind of cool. Um, that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. I just wanted to get a quick channel on that update you know why i haven't been uploading um i wanted to do it in a format that didn't save too big that way i can upload it with little or no problems um through my phone i may have to do anyway guys i wanted to you know share that i kind of wanted to share where i was at in uh, uh, Fate Grand Order, and I kind of want to share that little bit from that video because I thought it was really cool. Um, I look forward to getting even further into the Nasuverse. Um, I gotta f eventually finish, uh, I'll just call it the Garden of Sinners. It's Kata, some Kata something or other in Japanese, but anyway, the Garden of Sinners, you know, with Shiki Ryogi. I want to finish that. I'm almost all the way through the seventh movie. I just haven't had time to sit down at my desk. Um, cause I can't get verve in the living room, which is where the most comfortable chair in the world resides. So I end up not watching all the stuff that I want to watch because it's not available on my, on the you know living room TV. But anyway, I want to finish that and get another little wrap up thing. Um, Maybe one day I'll force myself to finish Prisma Ilya. That's probably not going to happen. I'm just, oh my gosh, just even thinking about that stuff. Finding out that that was the next event that's coming was like, oh, come on, don't do it to me. Oh, that's gross. Um. Anyway, guys. Trying to think anything else? No, that's pretty much it, guys. Um. Hopefully I'll be able to... get this up in a timely manner um and hopefully i'll be able to get i do have three videos in the works right now that i've been planning out what i want to say i gotta i've got them kind of outlined in my all of them outlined in my head i just got to get them outlined on paper and instead of putting videos or whatever i was going to do i was kind of kind of one of the reasons why you haven't seen like the zokin uh video i keep talking about is because I wanna, I've been wanting to do something a little more production heavy, but I, I think I'm just gonna put that out like this, um, just to get it up because I have that still rattling around in my head and I want to get it out. I mean, I, imagine having Zokin rattling around in your brain for weeks. You're not gonna be mentally right um, <laughs> after that, right? But anyway, guys, um, I hope. To have some videos coming here soon i'm gonna try to do something just to have something coming out several times a week um i was really proud of june i got just to let you guys know i had 22 videos out in june the most i've ever done as far as i know was 22 um i had a bunch of view time bunch of hours of, oh man i always appreciate you guys for all you do Maybe one of these days I'll start a video off with that. Um, but anyways, I will let you guys go. This is probably already running way too long as it is. Probably 30 minutes. But uh, I will see you guys next time, all right? Bye.